heck yeah, I want to load this file. Let's see how good the studying gets. Good enough. It's not 2011, that was 12 years ago. When I was about this character's age. This has got to be the most organized walkthrough ever because you can just, uh, yeah, you can just type in the day. It'll take you straight there. My bad, G. I didn't do this right settings before, and I am sneezing like crazy right now. Uh, the guide says to go to Yasuinaba Station, and we're gonna go buy a drink. After it loads. No one is around. Seems the next train won't be coming for a while. And this is when we're gonna meet the Hermit. You decide to go to the shrine in the shopping district on the way back. Oh my gosh, I got Why? There's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You decide to go home. Huh? You sent someone watching you. What? Sir. Higuraba. Nyinaba buja. A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Ningren. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Ema plaque in its mouth. Ema. You foolish human. Humans have destroyed all of our natural stuff. Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Dash Katen. The Ema has someone's wish written on it. What did the fox give to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf on the back of the Ema. You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? Oh, not every day you see young'uns like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I come by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain that shrine. That and I won't be able to visit Kata anymore. He's my grandson, you know. I bet this guy doesn't even know what it means to stick your gat out for the Rizzler. The Ema says, please help grandma's legs get, grandpa's legs get better. Huh? What's that in your hand there? Could it be? It's a skibbity toilet, sir. A what? That leaf, that's it. Way back when, my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, uh, what memories. But how do you get your hands on this? I don't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. Young man, can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? <clears throat> you give the old man the leaf. Oh, this is it. This is it. Now let's see over here. <clears throat> the old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Oh, I feel it. It's working. Amazing! The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long, it just up and vanished! Oh, why I feel better than I have in years! You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful, now I can go visit my grandson. I'd better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal his aches, it even restored his vitality. The fox looks on from his hiding place with 
a contented expression. It seems to understand the wish on the enema has been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory box as, it, as if to check the contents. It seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the emo with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep. You have done well to abide by my request, human. I shall spare your life. It seems that it has taken a liking to you. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave to the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. The fox people offer you their finest leaves. Let them help you aid yourself through battle. Because you're going to need it to be a worthy rival for me. The fox looks up mirthfully. Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is. As you realize a fox is showing you a pile of leaves, you feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. <laughs> Now, why is the fox the hermit? I thought it was going to be the old man for a second, but it's this fox. Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching the other side. Do not take my gift lightly, human. I have shown you mercy today, and you shall swear fealty and allegiance to the fox king. Does it understand your thoughts? The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? You are quite lucky today, human. Normally the fox king would accept need your soul. Or... 12 ounces of your blood. But today we will only uh, make charge you 4.99. Seems that the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. You return to the, the Ima to the shrine and went home. It's getting late. You decided to go home. Suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. Good. We need him off of our streets, stealing out of our ATM and giving people money with it. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. I'm 26. This is about me. That's why I'm in jail right now. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. <clears throat> Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. God dang it. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. I see. Thanks. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day. So now you have to go give all these things to children in your area. So I brought you a present. Took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? Wow, there's a picture of <laughs> funny. Yay! I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. It's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. Uh, she doesn't wear shirts with pictures. She only has the one shirt, and I think for the rest of the game She's probably only gonna wear that same exact shirt Don't mention 
I thought you might need one soon. Well then, let's eat. Incoming beach episode after we get all the party members? Okay. <clears throat> You spend a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. Now back to more homework. A sofa suitable for reading on. You have a book right now. Now, at this point in the game we're supposed to have a fishing rod because I wasn't supposed to sell all our gems. But uh, we'll read this book anyway. <laughs> The author's advice for those learning how to fish is not to lose heart after hours of waiting for a bite. It seems that willpower is very important for a fisherman. There's still some pages of beginning fishing left. You decide to save them for next time. Yo! Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. And it doesn't matter what you say to him. Uh, maybe it's karma. Huh? Hey, by the way, I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. The main character's mad because they met by him crashing into him with his bike. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. I'm counting on you. You do the, you do all the work. You know, Chie and you could go see different lately. They're a lot closer. Oh yeah, I was just curious. But are you? Never mind. You know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. No, everyone else talks on the way to school. Man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. Oh well. Until I get my motorcycle license. By that, I think he means like a scooter, right? Because it's Japan and things don't mean what they mean. What's up? Word up, you rash YouTube. Want to hang out later? Probably not. Hmm. I want to go talk to this little animal. Hey, if you have time after school, do you want to hang out with me? Think about it, alright? No. Not, not when I have animals talking to me. Okay, oh, I... Why do the holidays have to end so fast? Talk to dozens of humans. At least they were peaceful. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness. But it doesn't seem like anything happened. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? No. Oh, I doubt this is over. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder. Will someone show up on TV again if it rains? We only knew a little more about who the killer might be. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Ah, uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke, why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? Yo, I got a book you can borrow. Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Uh, private lessons? Huh? What's wrong? Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. Oh, I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Jeez. 
Thanks a lot, Chief, for bringing up the whole studying thing. Well, what did I do? Uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Oh, I should start heading home. Classes have ended today. No, no, we're not. We're not doing any of that. All right, and now we're going to go to the roof and ask more about this girl's hobbies. Wasn't there one of your classmates who was interested in this girl? What kind of books do I read? I read a lot of different genres, but I admit I have a lot of animal-related books. Stories and novels are good, but what I really like are picture books and books with animal facts. It's fun just to look at them, isn't it? She began talking about her goals for the future. You heard something that might prove to be useful. You should report back to her admirer. In classroom 2-2. Wait, where is he? And there's an old man in the Tatsuhime Shrine. The Thorn Princess Shrine. Hey, if it isn't the boy who gave me the leaves that one time! Thanks to you, I can play with my grandchildren. He really helped me out. Praise to the gods here who brought the two of us together. I started maintaining the shrine again, since it's not doing so good. I wanted to make it better, but I don't have the money. That's why I decided to put a little relationship fortune here as a little fundraiser. Normally, we only put it out on special occasions like New Year's, but this is for the gods. We got the fortunes from a shrine famous for its relationship fortunes, so they're bound to work. You should take one. I'm sure you'll get closer to whoever you're interested in. Oh, but we put the box away on rainy days, so be careful. Now, I gotta go play with my grandkid again. See you. The old man walked off energetically. You can now draw relationship fortunes. You might get a little closer to someone if you have a real social link with. However, you will not get as close to them by drawing fortunes as you would by spending time with them. Draw fortunes only when they are unavailable to spend time with. By facing the door of the building and clicking accept the Ima's request. We can summon the fox who is on top of the roof. The fox brought you an Ima with a wish written on it. This Ima is written in rounded characters. It's probably a young girl's handwriting. I want things to go well with the person I like. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Ima on its behalf. Could it be thinking if it wishes are fulfilled, the more money will be put into the offertory box? If you fulfill the wish on the Ima, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request. I wish for love. Yep. Be grateful, human, that the Fox King has spared you another day and given you the opportunity to fulfill someone's request. Opening up our quest menu, we find quest number seven. We actually can't access any further details about it. However, we know that it's thanks to a young girl that this request has been given us. So we're going to talk to this one. Uh, wh what? Uh, you're the transfer student, Rash YouTube. Oh, I must have made a mistake. This is your shoebox. The female student ran away. There's something in your shoebox. A dead bird. It's a note. Excuse me for writing the, this to you out of the blue. I held my emotions back all this time because I didn't want to disrupt your studies, but I just had to tell you, I love you. It's a very moving note. However, it's actually addressed to someone else. Apparently the girl put this in the wrong shoebox. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the Ima request the fox showed you. You should talk to her the next time you see her. And I've gotten word that there's new books at the bookstore and those are always nice to have. So let's try to get a couple of those. All right, it says off today and office work manual. 
Finish reading to increase diligence more while making envelopes. Or off today, The Bullied Teacher. Volume 1, reading it may increase understanding. And we are rich, rich as we want to be. And there's further business in the Velvet Room today. We're going to go check on Marie and get a poem. Welcome to the Velvet Room. He's looking around. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. If you are looking for Marie, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Where'd you send her? Oh, please don't be concerned. The errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. <laughs> it seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You know there's something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. <laughs> Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. What are you doing? I mean, what are you doing? Did you look? No, I didn't. I see. Oh, you didn't. Really? Then that's good. Just, just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep, sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> huh. That is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Excuse us. Now, once again. Welcome my butt! That was close! Marie returns to her seat and fidgets with rest of the sleep. <laughs> what was that whole thing about the poems? And we have a special guest here on the roof today. And there's a cat! Yo! What you doing? Yeah. Then, you want to train? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Samegawa River. You decided to train with Chie. Alright! Today's the day! Huh? Yo. Oh, Nanako-chan! What are you doing? Wait, she's allowed to go outside? Huh, training, of course. Mm. Training. Who are you fighting with, Chie? <laughs> Myself, I guess? <sighs> hey, just kidding. Oh. Wow, cool. Y you think? Oh, a grasshopper. Huh? No way, where? Just landed on your back. Oh, that is a big one. It's clearly on another layer. When she moves, the it doesn't. It stays in the same spot. Get it off! Get it off of me! You don't like grasshoppers? I'm no good with anything with thin, jointed legs. Or anything creepy or squirmy. Ah, now I can't get them out of my mind. I can't stand those things. But they're cute. You're like Yukiko. Oh, see, because Yukiko's fine around bugs. But me, I totally lose it. Kind of funny, huh? You don't have enough courage to say that it's cute. Huh? Th that's not true. It's not. A lot of kids in my class don't like bugs. It's not just you, don't worry. <laughs> Nanako-chan? Oh, you don't know how happy that makes me. Thanks. Come on, you want to train too? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with form. I'll teach you a kata. Chie and Nanako began training. You sent Nanako home before it got dark. I'm gonna get over my fear of bugs. I don't want to look like a sissy next to Nanako-chan. All I have to do is think of them as shadows. Then I'll be able to grab a whole fistful. I just gave myself goosebumps. Getting used to bugs might take a while, but I won't lose to shadows. 
You felt her burning passion. The relationship between you two grow stronger. Laters! After finishing your training, you walked part way home with Shie. You're back. So, you're home. Hey. Hey, Rush YouTube. How are things? You should be used to life here by now. Ha, huh. you, you bored? Well, have a seat. Hmm. We haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Dojizuma is desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Huh? Uh, well, how's school? It's fun. I see. I see. That's good to hear. Your school days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. What else? Um, oh yeah. How about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. Dojima is scowling. I'm not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but... You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Say it straight out. You don't have enough courage to tell him that. Yeah. Huh. Oh, so you did notice. For some reason, whenever there's an incident, there you are. I wish I didn't have to consider this, but the killings began at about the same time you came to town. My job is all about eliminating the random element. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? Big Bro didn't do anything bad. I, I know, I didn't mean it like that. But... But you're bullying him. I'm not bullying him. We were just having a little talk. It's getting late. Go to sleep. Okay. <sighs> Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look. Just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Your pens didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. Seems Dojima is general, genuinely worried about you. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Dojima. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. Though, it's a little dangerous at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Get some sleep. Night. Night. You said goodnight to Dojima and went to your room. And that's a good cutoff. <laughs> 